Good morning. This is Janelle again. I'm here to give another inspirational word, to read a few scriptures, to share something from the church that I attend, a good word. And first, I would like to give my obedience to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I would like to first um, pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, just for blessing me, my family, and friends to see a new day. Blessing me to meet new people, Father. Blessing me to be able to go out and just spread your good news amongst believers, even unbelievers. Hopefully, that they will receive your word, Father, that you will decrease me and increase you and me so they can receive your word, Father. Touch their hearts, Lord. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you just come to this atmosphere, Father, and have your way. Tell me what to say and when to say it, Father. Decrease me and increase you and me, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I pray for the everyone, Father, in the nation, the sick, shut in, and incarcerated, Father. I just thank you, Lord, that you just have your way, Father. I rebuke and bind anything that try to hinder this message, Father, that I'm sending out to the people, Father people to draw closer to you, Lord, because we need you. Without you, we can do nothing. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Father, we can do all things, Father, when we touch and agree, Father. You say one, cast a thousand, two, ten thousand, Father, put ten thousand to flight, Father. We just thank you that your word don't return void. We thank you that you are not man, that you cannot lie, Father. We just thank you, Father, for just doing abundant and above, above all for us, Father. More than we can ask or think, Father. We just thank you that you forgive us for our sins, Father. We fall and we get back up, Father. We just thank you, Father, that you just cast our sins into the sea of forgetfulness, Father. As far as the east to the west. And we just thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for being my rock and my fortress. My bread of life, spirit of truth, my hope and refuge from the storm, Lord Jesus. I just thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you are worthy to be praised. Meet us in your word today, Father, and daily. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Well, I want to give God the praise, the glory, and the honor for this new day. And I thank you. <laughs> I thank you, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I thank you, too, for just taking time out of your busy schedule to come over here and fellowship with me so we can both learn something from the Lord, you know? And that he quicken your spirit and mine as well. Decrease us, Lord. Increase you and us. Well, today I'm going to share something out of this. The one-year devotional. It's from my pastor, Larry Stocksdale. That's the church I attend, Bethany, World Prayer Center. But this is his one-year daily devotional book. I'm a cell group leader. I haven't been... um doing what I should to get my members, you know, to fellowship with me like they should in church. Um, the coronavirus, so, you know, it's kind of hard, but I was lacking before then. And um, so God, like I told, told people on a few videos ago that I made, God been gave me a vision that I'm not supposed to minister, you know, give the word, evangelize, go out and spread the good news of Christ. And I haven't been obedient, you know. I started out doing it, and then I slacked up and stopped doing it. But I always gave somebody a good word. If I see somebody, I, I let them know what God has done for me. I testify and give my um my testimony, you know. But he has quickened my spirit again for me to do what he say do. Because, wow, you see what time we're living in now? coronavirus, we got to wear masks, got to stay six feet apart. Um, everybody's getting sick, but I rebuke that in Jesus' name because he gave me the power of authority, the power of authority to be loose from iniquities and infirmities, sicknesses and disease, you know. He did that on the cross when he um, died and rose. So I'm healed by the blood of his stripes, and I rebuke and bind sickness and disease off my life. Um, <clears throat> but I want to share this from my pastor, Pastor Larry Stocksteel, you know, this is what I got from him, you know, from the church. I was blessed with. 
Um, and it says, this is the right date. This is um, the date for um, another day. It's not today's day, but this touched my heart. And, and this is what the Lord has me speaking on right now. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. <laughs> yes. Let all who are discouraged take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Psalms 34, 1 through 3. Psalms 34, chapter 1 through 3. That's the verses. So, the story in here is David tells us three things we must do to emerge victorious from troubles. First, he tells us to praise the Lord, and that's in Psalms 34, 1. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah, you have to praise the Lord at all times. When we bless the Lord for his benefits, Boast in the Lord concerning his attributes and insult and exalt him for his goodness. We are focusing on him instead of our troubles. That's right. How easy it is, though, to let trouble take over our thinking to the point that we forget how great God is. Yeah, it is easy to forget that we will forget how great God is. Second, David tells us to seek the Lord. That's right, we need to seek the Lord at all times. And David says this in verse four of the King James Version. To seek means to inquire diligently or to reach a place of desperation. David knew this kind of desperate crying out to God and the results it brought. Yeah, he knew. David knew. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. That's verse six. That's the King James Version. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. Moses stretched out his rod. Peter put on his sandals. Hmm. And God delivered from sickness danger, and imprisonment. Oh yeah. Finally, David said to reverence the Lord. Verse nine. Yeah, we must reverence the Lord. Verse nine. We must examine every area in our lives to be certain our giving, our words, and our relationships are in order. In this way, we honor God, we praise the Lord, seek the Lord, and reverence the Lord. We will be delivered from all our troubles. That's right, we will be. And I, I know that I've been delivered from a lot of troubles, you know, because I praise the Lord with all my heart. I boast on everything that he does for me. I don't say that I did it. I always give him the praise, the honor, the glory. Let people know what the Lord has done for me because I haven't done it myself. I can't do it myself. I am nothing without the Lord. And so I always want to give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. I want to acknowledge him in all that he do for me. You know, David. David is a good story. I read David. David tells, tells us 
some good things that we should do. And, you know, he give us some good pointers. Praise the Lord. Seek the Lord. <laughs> and reverence the Lord. Yeah, praise him. Praise him at all times. Seek him. We must seek him. We must get up. You know, like, this, this is what I do. I get up in the morning for work. I get up at 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm a truck driver. So I get, I'm local. I'm home daily. You know, I'll be starting night, night shift soon, you know, because I'm like number 24 on the bid list <laughs> because I've only been there since, um, since the 18th of May this year. I was an over the road trucker and, um, I didn't like that, but I was doing what I had to do and God bless me. I prayed and asked him to bless me with a job home day, like good job, making good money, making, getting 401k and he blessed me. You know, see, I, I, I give thanks and I praise the Lord for everything that he does. <laughs> but I said, Lord, I didn't ask for night shift, but he gave it to me anyway. But right now I'm on days because I'm in training. But I thank the Lord and I bless the Lord and I, I praise him for everything that he do. Because he, everybody who knows me, when I say I have a job, I always say God gave me a, a good job. God blessed me with that job. And I thank him for it. So we got to praise him, y'all. Psalms 34, 1. For he tells us to praise the Lord. That's what David said. And we got to seek the Lord. Like I was saying, I seek him. I get up at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I pray. And I get my daily devotional. You know, my the church that I attend, Bethany World Prayer Center in Baker, um, Louisiana. They have a, a website that we get on, you know. And I get on that site and I read my devotionals, my daily devotionals. It's like the Bible reading um, for the year. I do that. And then sometimes I get on YouTube and I watch uh, ministry from other believers. You know, what the Lord, when the Lord touched me and tell me, you know, you need to watch that one. He give me discernment and tell me if I don't need to be watching their video or not. Someone else's video. Yeah, but he'll um, give me discernment. But I seek the Lord. To seek means to acquire diligently. To reach a place of desperation. To cry out, you know, you got to cry out to God. He'll hear you cry. You cry out to the Lord and he'll hear you cry. Yeah, he'll save you from your troubles. So, I seek the Lord. In everything that I do, I try to seek him first and I know I'm not perfect and I'm not living all right. I'm not um, 100% holy because none of us are. We all fall short of the glory of God. But you, you still got to get back up, you know. You still got to press on. You just can't let nobody knock you down and keep you down. Because God is love. And he forgives us for our sins. Sins we make daily, you know. Finally, um, we got to reverence the Lord. We must examine every area of our lives, be certain of our giving, our words, our relationships. Be sure and be certain that they're in order. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. In this way, we honor God. So we got to praise him, seek him, and reverence him. You know, and I do. I pray, seek, and reverence the Lord. We got to follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of their faith and patience. And that's in Hebrews 6, 12. Hebrews 6, 12. And we got to um, praise the Lord. Like Psalms 103, verses 1 through 2, it says, Praise the Lord. I tell myself with my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, I tell myself, and never forget the good things he does for me. Psalms 103, 1 through 2. Yeah, you got to rejoice. This is something else out of the um. 
I don't own. My pastor Larry Stockfield, his book. Yeah. It said, Rejoice in your spiritual benefits. According to Psalms 103, your benefit package includes five specific blessings. First, and most importantly, God forgives you of all your sins. Nothing is more valuable than having your sins removed from you. As far as the east from the west, verse 12, that's the prayer I just prayed. So I know, <laughs> I know that God is guiding me in this right here, in this online ministry that I have, I'm given, you know, because I stepped out and I asked God to guide me, guide my steps, you know, don't let me go wrong. Keep me in his will. Don't let me tell his people something that's not of him. And this is confirmation. And so I'm giving y'all confirmation right now. Because all I did was just flip. I just flipped to this. And this is supposed to be read October 31st. See? October 31st. I just flipped from this. Flipped to this. <laughs> wow. Confirmation. I, that prayer I prayed from, at the beginning of this video, I asked God to cast the sins from east to the west. Yes. Okay. Second... He heals all your desires. I'm sorry. He heals all your diseases. Verse 3. The root of disease sprang from the cesspool of the sin in the Garden of Eden. But if the root is cut, the fruit, which is the disease, is also rendered powerless. Okay. Third. He ransoms or redeems you from death. Verse 4. Satan's power over your life is broken. For just as God redeemed Israel from the hand of Egypt, so Jesus redeemed you with the shedding of his blood. Yes, I said that too in that prayer. God shed, Jesus shed his blood for us for our sins and we are healed. From iniquities and infirmities, because he did it on the cross. So that's confirmation too. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm on the right track. <laughs> Cause I don't want to be off from what he tells me, you know. I pray and I ask him to tell me what to say. Because he asked me to, you know, to share the good news with his people. So I'm doing that. But I don't want to just do it out of my own, my own will. I want to do it out of God's will. Because I ask God to keep me in his will daily. Fourth, he surrenders. Crowns in the New International Version. He crowns in the New International Version. He surrenders. No, he surrounds you. Yeah, God surrounds you with love and tender mercies. Mm -hmm. That's verse four. The Holy Spirit has come to rest upon your head like an anointing oil rested upon the crown. Yeah, the Old Testament high priest. The presence will surround you with God's mercy every day of your life. Mm -hmm. Fifth, your life will be filled with good things. Verse five, your life will be filled with good things. Mm -hmm. And your strength renewed. Yeah. Mount up on wings like eagles. Yeah. Fit. No, okay, you will be filled with, okay, yeah, strength renewed. Your temporal and physical needs will all be supplied from God's abundance. Mm -hmm. These are your benefits. Forgiveness, healing, deliverance, anointing and provision wow these are your benefits these are my benefits as well y'all forgiveness healing deliverance anointing and provision rise up today and claim your inheritance i claim my lord in jesus name i receive it thank you father yes lord so Everybody, just step out on faith. Do what the Lord has asked you to do. You know, 
get out there and give a good word to someone. You know, be a blessing to someone. Hmm. Be a blessing to someone. So, I just want to let you guys know that we can do all things in Christ. We don't have to be perfect because no one's perfect, you know. We just got to pray and ask God to lead us and guide us. Give us what to say, words to say, when to say them, how to say them. Decrease us and increase him in us so we can be a blessing to others. You know, I just want to let you guys know that um, I pray in my spirit that God would decrease you and increase him and you so you can step out on faith too and minister the word, you know, just give a good word to somebody. Tell of his goodness. Tell of his awesomeness. Tell them that, tell people how God has done for you. You know, tell how he blessed you to see a new day. Tell them how his blessings are just above and beyond what you could think and imagine. How he um, used the foolish to confound the wise. So that's why he's using you, you know. You don't have to be a college graduate. I never went to college. I went to school to cut hair. I'm a licensed barber. Um, I went to welding school. I didn't finish it, but I went for a while. Um, then I set out because my mama took ill, so I had to help her. And I never just went, I never went back. It was hot, <laughs> and I didn't feel like finishing no way welding school. But um, <laughs> but um, I went to truck driving school. And I became a truck driver. I'm a nursing assistant. Um, I went to school for phlebotomy. So I, I um, knew how to drew, draw blood and stuff. But I'm a child of the Most High God. And I'm not a preacher, but I do evangelize. And I go out and share the good news of God with others. You know, I give thanks like this. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. That's Psalms 136, one verse. Yep, Psalms 136, one verse. Uh-huh. So, you just got to love the Lord. And know that he is God. The Lord is slow to anger, but his power is great. And he never lets the guilty go unpunished. Yeah, that's in the book right here, too. Yeah, I love this book. This is a good book, Pastor Larry Stockstill. He all um, made... I like this book. It's so helpful. <laughs> yeah, and I, I read I read a lot of different books. You know, my Bibles. I have my Bibles up here in my own. All type of books. But I just thank you guys and girls, you know, for taking out time of your busy schedule and sitting here and fellowshipping with me again today. Because I'm going to be doing this a lot. I mean, you know... <laughs> God, I pray to God, quicken my spirit so I can get off my butt and do what he tell me to do by, you know, sharing his word with you guys. And if I ever see you on the street, don't don't forget to just say, hey, girl, we were fellowshipping online on YouTube. And then, you know, we can stop and pray right then. I don't mind <laughs> because I love the Lord with all my heart, soul, and mind, with everything that's in me. And I just want you all to know. You can always call on God for whatever. He is not man. He will not let you down. You don't have to make an appointment to be with him. You can just stop right then and pray. Call on him. He hear you. Oh, yeah, he hear you. And I just want you all to know that, you know. And don't let nobody ever tell you because you sin or because you're sinning or because they know your past, something that you did or some stuff you used to do or a lifestyle you used to live that you can't serve the Lord or you can't be a witness to others. You can't go share the good news. That's not true. I've fallen short of the glory of God, but he still let me get back up. You know, he still let me get back up. Yeah, I got skeletons in my closet too, but God still let me get back up. He's no respect the person. He forgive you for your sins. He forgive you. You just have to ask him and then receive him as being your Lord and Savior. So don't you let 
anyone ever tell you that you cannot go out and minister and be a blessing to others by giving the word of God because we all are evangelists. We all are supposed to evangelize and speak of the Lord's goodness and his grace and mercy to others and, and help draw other Christians, other people that want to get saved, you know, who want to believe, who want to get saved into the Lord's, his bosom so he can hold you and he could care for you and he could feed you and be a blessing to you and he could help you. He could touch someone else's heart to open doors for you. He could open doors for you, touch someone else's heart to get you in that position, a position that you don't even deserve. But God will do here change the heart of a king. So, you know, he take care of the birds, he feed them. So, you know, he'll take care of us. And I know this is time, and I pray right now, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father. He, um, this coronavirus, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. That God, um, it's a time and a season for everything under the sun, y'all. But y'all still don't let your faith fail. You hold tight. Hold tight to whatever God said. Whatever that word say. Whatever this word say in this Bible. You hold tight to this word. You hold tight to this word. Because it will not return back void. His word does not return back void. God is not like man. And I, I just want y'all to know. The coronavirus yeah, is here. But God give us wisdom. Knowledge, understanding, discernment, and revelation for us to um, know what to do and when to do it. God don't want us to give up. He said never give up, you know. He just is a time and a season for everything under the sun. You just got to hold tight, stand fast, be unmovable, you know. And I just thank God for quickening my spirit and giving me the strength to press on and do what he say do. I don't um I don't want to offend anyone, but I wanna say what God say. And I wanna move when he says move. You know? So I just thank you all again. For visiting me, <laughs> clicking on Janelle Miller, J E N I E L L M I L L E R, and watching my YouTube videos that I'm uploading so I can be a blessing to others by sharing the word of the God, the word of God with them, the good news of Christ, my Lord and Savior, and the Trinity, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. I thank him for always coming in and into the atmosphere. So we're just going to pray right now. Father, as we start each day, we bring your presence with us, Lord. We speak your peace, grace, perfect order into the atmosphere. We acknowledge your Lordship over all that will be spoken, thought, decided, and accomplished. Thank you, Lord, for the gifts you deposit in us. We do not take them lightly, but commit to using them responsibly and well. Please, Lord, give us a fresh supply of truth and beauty on which to draw as we start each day. Anoint our creativity our thoughts, ideas, and energy, so even our smallest tasks can bring you honor. When we're burned out, Lord, infuse us with the light of the Holy Spirit. May the work that we do and the way that we do it bring hope, life, and courage to all who come in contact with us today. Even in these days, most stressful moments, Lord, may we rest in you. In the mighty name that's above all names. In the mighty name that's above all names. In the mighty name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Father. We also pray for the sick, the shut-in, the incarcerated, Father, for President, Trump, Father, that you just touch his heart, Father, that he could follow your will, let your will be done in his life, Father. We just cast down these demons, Father. Cast them down, send them to the pits of hell where they belong. We don't fight against flesh and blood, but principalities, darkness, and evilness that root is earth, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are worthy to be praised, Father. Lord, we just thank you. We come into agreement, Father. We thank you that you just put your head of protection around us, Father. That your angels are kept around us in double portion, Lord Jesus. We thank you for being our rock and our fortress, Lord. Our bread of life, spirit of truth, hope, refuge from the storm. Father, we just thank you, Father, for being Alpha and Omega, beginning and ending, Lord Jesus. We just thank you for being our strong tower, Father. We just thank you. We bless your holy name. 
In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name, we thank you. We pray for our kids, Father. Any kids that's gone astray, that just don't believe in you, Father, or they're confused and don't know who to believe in, Father, and they're trying to pray to candles and trying to pray to the stars and trying to pray to, to the uh, earth, trying to pray to, to nature. We just rebuke and bind that in Jesus' name, Father, that you touch them and just give them wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment, revelation, Father, so they'll know that you are God. You are God alone. You are the only God, the only true God. Father, we just thank you. We pray for our kids, Father, that you bring them back home. If they're on drugs, Father, if they just follow the wrong, the wrong friends, Father, just bring them back home. What about at the end Ha, ha. Rosa, she hit. Get about the end of the day. See, Rosa, that I'm in the end Thank you, Lord. We just pray, touch and agree, Father, for, for women that single mothers and fathers that single fathers. Father, we just pray that you just give them that wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment, revelation, Father. Just let them know what to do and how to be a good parent, Father. How to be the parent that you called them to be for their child, Father. And just give them the strength, Father, to be strong in Christ, Father, so you can just work through them, Father, so they, the kid can see the light coming through them, Father. Even my child. Even my child, Father, you cover him, decrease him, and increase you and him, Father, Lord Jesus. And I just thank you. I pray for my grandson as well, Lord Jesus. My little grandson, Father, cover him and keep him, Father. Let him be the man of God that you call him to be, Father, in the future. We pray right now, Father, in Jesus' name. We touch and agree, Father, with all these believers, Father. In Jesus, oh Lord, just we just thank you. And we just bless your holy name, Father, for you are worthy to be praised, Lord. And we just thank you, y'all. If y'all don't know how to pray, know what to pray for. Pray in your tongues. Pray in your tongues, you know, so the Lord could just, he know what you're praying for. He know what you're praying for in your heart and in your spirit. He can intercede. He know. He know that. He already know what you need before you say it. So just humble yourselves and believe that Christ is Lord. He is our Lord and our Savior. Everything you pray, pray it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And the Lord will be there. And I thank you. And Lord, thank you for the viewers. Thank you for whoever come on and view that they receive a word, Father, from you. That they could decrease me, that you decrease me and increase you and me, Father, so they could feel you. So they could know that you are speaking through me, Father, to them. You are using my vessel, Father, that you gave me to speak through me to them. Thank you. I bless your holy name. In Jesus Christ, my Lord, save your name. Y'all have a good day. Love you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to sit with me and fellowship until the Lord sent me back with another video. Blessings to you and your family. All right. Bye-bye.